around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you a class setup for the RAM 7. It's not the best AR for me in the game in Warzone, but it's a fun gun to use. And the fact is that his time to kill is huge, way better than most of AR and Kilo, for example. But the only problem is his low ammunition, 50 round mag maximum. So I think it's perfect for solo and duo Razon. Maybe viable for trio Razon, but not to use in quads in Razon. So first of all, you can see that the fire rate is insane. 860 rounds per minute. It's nearly close to the M13 and the Ice Val. Then the AM down speed time is fast with no attachment and is faster than any air except for the growl and the ice valve and finally you can see that the time to kill in warzone with the ram 7 is one of the fastest after the ice valve which has a lot of recall and it's a weapon that you could use only in close to middle range and the FAL that is a semi-automatic rifle so if you don't like to have a trigger finger it's not comfortable to use. Then for the class setup it's always the same thing in Warzone you start with the monolithic suppressor to have damage range because it gives you a bonus of 10% to have bullet velocity it gives you a bonus of 15 percent and with the sound suppression to be out of the mini map the decrease of the am done speed is not so bad only 16 milliseconds so it's a huge attachment and you have to use it in warzone then you have the commando for group for the under barrel it's a good attachment because you don't decrease your AM dump speed and you have bonus of vertical recoil control and horizontal bounce. So for this weapon which has a few recoil it's perfect under barrel to use. Then the ammunition you don't have a choice because you can only choose 50 rounds and I advise you to take this because could be in a lot of troubles if you put the only 30 round mag. For the force attachment, I advise you to take the Corpse Hollow Combat Sight because with the blue dot, it's a nice scope and the visual recoil is decreased a lot. But if you don't have the blue dot on the Corpse Combat Hollow Sight, I don't advise you to use it. Maybe more using the GI mini reflex or the solo mini reflex or the monocle etc and finally for the barrel you have the FSS ranger barrel it's super necessary in Warzone because it gives you damage range bonus with nearly 40% it gives you bullet velocity with more than 60% and you have also vertical recoil control with 20%. So for your middle range fight, it's a super necessary bonus. We all the attachment, this class setup is better than the actual meta in Warzone, the Kilo with Monolith Expressor, Syngard 19.8 barrel, VLK Optic, 60 round mag and commando for grip and you can see that at the screen with 250 health points and with the ADS time 
the time to kill of the RAM 7 is way much better of the actual meta to kill. So I don't think the RAM 7 is better than other gun and viable as other gun, but on the paper, when you see the statistics, it's a freaking beast. And it's a fun gun to use. So try this class setup. Enjoy the gameplay. Il est à terre, il est à terre, il est à terre. Je le rush. Bien joué, gros. Oh, monsieur yeah, joué baby Il est derrière la baraque. Allez, on le fonce. Ils sont là les gars J'en ai mis un terre, j'en ai mis un terre 